Hello my dear year 4, I hope that you are all fine today. Today we are going to revise what we have already covered during term 2 up till now. We are going to start first with the spelling. So I want you to get ready with your Nelson spelling book. And let's start unit 1. Unit 1 the E A letter pattern E A letter pattern so ready steady go as we are talking about letters so we are discussing something that is very important about what is called the letters and sounds and for letters and sounds we have all the letters in the English alphabet they are 26 letters, but as you can see, we have already circled only five letters. So, the five letters that we have already circled are called the vowel letters. Okay, so what are the vowel letters? They are U, E, A, I, O, U, E, A, I, O. So, what about these vowel naughty letters? The vowel letters in the English alphabet has two different sounds. So, this is very important to know the letter and also to know the sound of the letter. Okay, so what about the other letters that we did not circle? So, the other letters are called consonant letters. So, we are talking today about the EA letter pattern. But before talking about anything, we have to join between what is called letters and sounds. Letters and sounds. So, we are going to find all the letters in the English alphabet. They are 26 letters. And... We are going to circle only five letters. They are called the vowel letters. U, E, A, I, O. And the other letters that we didn't circle are called consonant letters. Consonant letters. Okay. As for the vowel letters, each one of these vowel letters has two different sounds. The first one is the short vowel sound and the second one is the long vowel sound. Okay, let's start with letter A. As for letter A, we have two different sounds as we said before. We have the short letter A, 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 like as in ant. And we have also the long vowel sound A, which is pronounced, which is said like A, A, like in make, take. And you will find on my channel here a video about the long vowel sound A and the letter I that will appear at the top of the page is going to be about this video if you want to go to it to revise about what is called the long vowel sound a so here we have the long the the vowel the the vowel letter a has two different sounds the first one is the short sound like a like an ant r and then we have the long vowel sound a like in make take break then let's go to the E and for letter E we have the short vowel sound E and there's a long vowel sound E. So let's have an example. We have the short vowel sound E like he, e, et and we have the long vowel sound E, like in meat. And for the letter I, we have the short vowel sound E. 
and there's a long vowel sound I so the first one like in it and the second one like in five knife let's go to the second the next one which is the vowel letter O the short vowel sound of the vowel letter O is O O like in ho ot po o ot and the long vowel sound of the letter o is o o like nose hose and then let's go to letter u and of course also you are going to find another video about the sound of letter U as a long sound U. I want you to go back to this video, please. So the letter U also is a vowel letter that has two different sounds. We have the short U, ah, short U, ah, like in the word ah, ah, up. And we have the long U, U, like the word tube. And the word flute okay so here we have the vowel letters and the two different sounds for each one of them the short vowel sound and the long vowel sound okay today in this unit we are going to talk about the e a letter pattern and how can we pronounce this letter pattern according to the vowel sounds here we have two group of words as you can see as for the first group of words the e a letter sound the e a letter pattern here in each one is pronounced as the short e a short e a okay and also if we're going to read the second group of words we are going to find that the ea letter pattern is also pronounced as the short e a so let's read the words together dead head red bread thread spread health wealth feather leather weather ready steady healthy and wealthy now let's know about the meaning of each word So we have the word dead, eh, eh, ed, dead, which means not alive. Head, the top part of your body. Red, which is pronounced as red. It's the same pronunciation as the word red. And red is the past of the verb read so we have read 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 in the present read in the past okay bread and the bread is an uncountable noun that should be followed by a singular verb so we always say the bread is the bread is like all the other uncountable nouns like money like water thread thread which is a piece of a string spread spread like to expand or to stretch i spread the cheese on the 
loaf of bread. Health, health enjoys good health. Wealth, which is a treasure. Feather, feather. The feather grow all the feathers so we can see birds with feathers so feathers grow from a bird's skin leather which is a material made from animals skin weather this is the atmospheric condition regarding the heat the cloud the sunshine the wind and we know about the weather from something that is called as a weather forecast. And the person who, who uh, tells the weather forecast is called the weather forecaster. And then we have the word ready. 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 Which means available. When you are ready for something, you are available. So, ready. Available. Steady, is to stand still, immovable, static, unshakable, steady, healthy, being free from illness, wealthy, a wealthy person is a rich person, so when we describe someone as a wealthy person, so he's, uh, he's very rich. He possesses a wealth or a treasure. He possesses a wealth or a treasure. Now, I want you to remember that your homework here in this unit is to put each one of these words in a meaningful sentence. Okay, so let's look at the focus exercise letter A. And here we have rhyming words. Rhyming words. So write the rhyming key words they give clues to the first one is done to help you weather rhymes with feather and we have here the pictures so we are going to get the rhyming word according to the picture so we have the word tread rhymes with and here we have of course the bread bread very good the next one is spread spread and here of course we have the picture of the thread very good excellent thread excellent steady steady rhymes with aha uh -huh. the boy is ready very good the boy is ready healthy healthy rhymes with look at the picture he possesses a lot of money. He possesses a treasure. So he is wealthy. So we have healthy and wealthy. Healthy and wealthy. Dead. Dead. Rhymes with? Huh? What can you see here? Yeah. Head. Head. So we have bread. Thread. Ready. Wealthy head okay now let's talk about the pronunciation or the sound that the ea letter pattern make as you can see here as we are talking about unit one ea letter pattern ready steady go we have what is called the um, rules pronunciation rules and spelling rules the first rule here is when we have the letter E and the letter A come together, they make what is called EA letter pattern. So the first rule here, we have the EA letter pattern that, make, um, that makes the sound, in some words, uh, the EA letter pattern makes the sound of the short vowel sound E, E like in bed so the first rule that we need to study here is the ea letter pattern makes 
three different sounds. The first rule talks about the first sound, the EA letter pattern, make the sound of the short vowel sound E -E. The short vowel sound E -E, like in bed, head. Okay? The second rule is about the EA letter pattern that makes the sound the long vowel sound E. E. So it can make the short vowel sound E -E, or the long vowel sound E, like in eat, meet, seat. Okay? Again, so the first rule is the E A letter pattern can be pronounced as the short vowel sound E E, like in the word bed. Or the E A letter pattern can be pronounced as long e e like in eat meat seat so here we have a question for you the e a letter pattern in the word weather makes the sound e like n eat great head so we e e ether he e e ed so, head is a correct one. Head is a correct one. So, as for the first and the second rule, they are talking about the sound of the E A letter pattern with the vowel letter E. So, here we have the short vowel sound E E and the long vowel sound E E. As for Rule number three is talking about that the EA letter pattern has another sound. So it has three different sounds. The third sound is when we have the EA letter pattern. When we have the EA letter pattern. Making the sound of the long vowel sound A. A. Like in break, great, steak. Okay, so let's answer this question. The EA letter pattern in the word great makes the same long vowel sound of A as in break or bat or drank. So here we have great and break, A, A. So this is the long vowel sound, A. So we have great and the break. From here, you can notice that the long vowel sound, A, has two different letter pattern. So we can find the long vowel sound A in the EA letter pattern, like the word great. Or you can find the long vowel sound A in the pattern of letter A plus a consonant letter plus the magic E at the end. So long A A with magic E. Long A A with magic E. So we have two different letter patterns for the long A, which is pronounced as A. Great. Break. As for another uh, thing here that we need to say is about verb read. Read. So, verb read, it is the verb that has the same spelling, okay? Okay, but it has two different forms. So, letter A has the same spelling uh, and of two different forms. 
for the present and the past. So, verb read has the same spelling for two different EA letter patterns. Okay, it has two different EA letter pattern sound for two different forms. So, it has two different EA letter pattern sounds for two different forms. So, if we pronounce it like the long vowel sound E, it will be read for the present form. If we pronounce it like the EA letter pattern here, as the short vowel sound E, it will be RE, E, ED, which is the past form. So, we have read as the long vowel sound E, so it is the present. And if we have re, e, e, ed, as the short vowel sound e, it is the past. So it can be read for the present or read for the past. Okay. So let's do the next exercise. Focus exercise letter B. Here, he wants you to write five other EA words, which means that we want you to write words with EA letter pattern that sound like the letter E in bed, eh, which means that we need five words with EA letter pattern that make the sound of the short E, eh, short E, eh. Okay. So, I want you to think of five other EA words like these ones, other than these ones, that gives the short vowel sound E, E, like head, red, bread, spread. But we need more. Here we have bread, thread, re, e, edi, wealthy, head. What about writing five more words? Okay, here are thread. He, eh, eh, heavy. Bre, eh, eh, eth, breath. Dre, eh, eh, ed, dread. De, eh, eh, f, deaf. So we have thread, heavy, breath. Dread, deaf. Okay, now let's move to the focus exercise letter C. Now he wants you to write the keyword, so he wants one word from these words, from the keywords, that can be said in more than one way. And this is what we have just talked about, which is about the word or the verb okay so we need a verb from these words that has two different ea sound okay do you remember this verb that we have just talked about yes it can be pronounced in two different ways with the same spelling so, this word, this verb, can be said in more than one way. Excellent, all of you. It's read, 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 read. Very good. Now, I want you to look at the extension exercise. And here we have the rule number three that we talked about, about EA letter pattern, which is pronounced like the long a a as in make so the long a can take two different letter patterns it can be like e a a or long a a with magic e so we have a word like break great stake exercise one copy and complete these words webs adding prefixes suffixes or both to see how many family words you can find 
here we have the word great we can write greatly greater greatest greatness and the other word is the word break so as you can see the word the great and the word the break they both has they both have the ea letter pattern pronounce it as the long aa so these two words has have the ea letter pattern pronounce it as long a a like great and break so as for the word break we have breakable breaking breakfast unbreakable rebreak breakdown break out break up breaker okay now let's go to the extension exercise letter b Copy the, the three EA words from the information box. Break, great, stick. Next to each one, write a homophone. This is the first thing. Number two, write a fun sentence for each pair of homophones. So writing a fun uh, sentence for each pair of homophones is going to be your homework. So let's look at the first part of the question. The first part of the question is that you have to write a homophone for each word. So the three words are break, great, and stake. The first one we have break, which means like a recess or taking a break, a rest. The second one is break with long A and the magic E. And the break, the second one, with the second um, letter pattern means a device that we use for stopping or slowing a car. So we have brake and the brake. The first one with the EA letter pattern that is that makes the long vowel sound A EA letter pattern that makes the long vowel sound a break which means to have a break to have some rest to have a recess the second one is the homophone what do you mean by the word homophones homo means the same and the phone means the sound so homophones are two words with the same sound but different spelling so the homophone of the word break is break, but the letter pattern used here is different. So here we have the long A, A, and here we have the magic E. So we have A plus consonant plus magic E. So we have break and the break. The first break is the rest. The second break is to slow or to stop the car. Number two, we have great and great, great and great. The first one is the word great, which means wonderful, wonderful. The second one is great. The second one is great. As you can see here, we have the two words great and the great. The first word is great, which means to grind food. The second one is great, which means wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. But you have to take care that the word great, which means to grind food, differs from the word grateful, because the word grateful has a very complete different meaning, which means the feeling of showing appreciation. So to be grateful to your parents, to be grateful to your teachers, to show appreciation, this is something different. So the two words that we are talking about are great and the great. Okay, and there is a great difference between the word great, as I showed you in the picture, and the word grateful, because grateful has a complete different meaning. The last 
a pair of words the last homophones and again what do we mean by the word homophone homo means the same and the phone means a sound so homophones have the same sound but different spelling the same sound but different spelling and of course different meaning so they have the same sound but with different spelling and different meaning the third homophone that we have here is steak and steak the first one is the beef something that we eat and the second one is the stick we can make like fun sentences like I like to grate cheese uh, or it is great to grate cheese on the pizza maybe anyway try to think of a fun sentence for each pair of homophones unit 2 we are still talking about the letter patterns so we have ask asked us and sometimes you can experience another pronunciation for these three letter patterns like ask and some people pronounce it like ask asked for cost or fast and you may experience finding some people pronounce it as asked like fast as for the third letter pattern ASS which is like class os or grass so you can experience finding some people pronounce it like s like class or grass so let's talk about unit 2 and let's together discuss the words here first of all we need to read the sentence at the top of the page so we have we made a vast number of masks in class so some sometimes some people pronounce it like vast mask class okay so let's go to the words that we have here let's talk about the spelling the sound and the meaning ask ask mask flask so here we have three words the first group of words ask mask flask we have the letter pattern ask okay so the word ask when we add the letter m at the very beginning it will be mask and the word ask when we add the fl at the very beginning it will be flask so it's easy now to know the spelling of three different words from the verb ask so we have ask mask flask what is ask ask is a verb when you ask a question so you're waiting for an answer mask is something that you put on your face and please don't forget to put on your mask and keep away from coronavirus the third one is flask and some people pronounce it as flask which means a bottle bottle and then we have cost fast lost past vast plast disaster okay so we have the second group of words for cost 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 what do you mean by the word 
cost. The word cost, as you can see here, as a verb means to cause light or to record. Cost. Cost. We can say that the moon costs a pale light over the night sky. The moon costs a pale light over the night sky. So, here we have the moon. Don't forget to begin with the capital letter. And, of course, don't forget to put the full stop at the very end. So, the moon costs a pale light over the night sky. If we want to make... Uh, the word cost in a meaningful sentence. It also has the meaning of throw, like the magician costs his spell. The magician costs his spell. Magic spell. Emit, send out, radiate, cost. The second word is fast. Fast. What do I mean by the word fast? It can come as an adjective, like fast runner. You when you describe someone who's running very fast. Number two, the word fast can be an adverb. We never add ly to the verb fast. And I told you before about it. It's one of the irregulars. So we have fast. He runs fast, which means that he runs quickly. And then we have fast as a verb, which means not to eat or drink for some times. Not to eat or drink for some times. And if we have the word fast plus en, so here we are going to have letter T as a silent letter. So the word is going to be pronounced as fasten, fasten, like when you close or lock something to secure. So fasten your seat belt. Make sure. When you get in the car, to fasten your seat belt. So we have fast as an adjective, fast runner. Fast as an adverb, like to run fast. Fast as a verb, it means to fast like all Muslims fast in Ramadan. So they do not eat. And then we have fast plus en at the end. So letter T is silent. It will be fasten, which means to close. And then we have lost, lost, or last. So as for lost, when the word lost comes an, as an adjective, so it means after all others, or previous, like when we say last year. Last year. The word lost can be found as a verb, which means to remain, to continue in time. So the movie lasted for two hours. The movie lasted for two hours. And we have a phrase which is at last, finally, eventually, at last. Finally or eventually. So we have lost as an adjective with, like last year. We can have lost as a verb like to remain at last, which is a phrase that means finally or eventually. Past and the past can be found as a noun. Past like to over or old, or long ago, past, like the past tense, past as a preposition, 
which means by the side of by the side of go past and we can have the word past when we are telling about the time which means after or later than so it's a half past three it's half past three after the word past we have the word vast vast what do you mean by the word vast vast means something that is big vast king size king size like when you go in a to a hotel and you will have like a king size a room that is a king size room wow and then we have the word vast is the same as something like mega or jumbo or bulky and the opposite of vast is tiny blast or blast to blow up to blow up it's a verb Disaster, which is a sudden accident caused great danger. And as you studied in science, we have something that is called natural disasters. And they are like volcanoes, earthquakes, and all the other disasters. And then we have the last group of words with the A double S pattern. So we have pause. Class, glass, grass. And we have to stop here for a while because this group of words was final, double S, or final, double consonant will take us to a different topic about double consonant letters. And as we used to say the rule, we always say that the double consonant comes after a short vowel sound. So don't forget the rule that we keep on saying all the time, short vowel sound, double consonant. Short vowel sound, double consonant. So we have pass. So the pronunciation of letter A here is the short E. The short, sorry, the pronunciation of the uh, of the verb of the letter A here is the short A sound. This is the short sound of the vowel. The short vowel sound A. This is the short vowel sound A. Pass. Class. Glass. Grass. So we have short vowel sound plus the double consonant like pass, class, glass, grass. So don't forget the rule that says short vowel sound, double consonant. Because we're going to come to this rule later on. Okay? Type. Now, let's go to the focus exercise letter A. And here, copy these words. Copy these group of words. Yeah, of course, we're going to copy them. We're going to study them. And then underline one with the different spelling pattern. So we have ask, mask, past, flask, task. So this is a different one. Because the others are with the ask letter pattern. Okay. The second one is lost, fast, plus, vast, disaster. So the different one is class because all of them has the AST spelling pattern or letter pattern. Number three, pass, class, grass. Gloss. So all of them has the short um, vowel sound A followed by the double consonant S. And here we have 
the word mosque with the spelling pattern osk. So this is a different one. Let's move to the focus exercise letter B. Who am I? Who am I? The keywords will help you. So we're going to take from these keywords to find the clue and the answer of these ones. Okay. So I'm used in Windows. What do you think? Something from here used in Windows. I fit over your face. Something that we put over our faces. Yeah, I can hear you. Very good, all of you. I am a large group of children in school. Yeah, we are all in the same. Very good. I am the opposite of the first. So we have the first and the. No, I want you to be the first all the time. Not the other word. I am huge. So what is the word that means the same as huge or king size? Okay, we will see. Number six. I am what players do with a ball in a game. Hmm. What do they do with a ball in a game? What do you think? We will see. I am the opposite of slow. So what is the opposite of a slow? I grow on football pitches. I grow on football pitches. Football courts. Football playground. What do you mean by football pitches? So it means football courts or football playgrounds. So let's check for the answers and see if your answers are correct or not. So very good. So the first one that is used in Windows. Gloss. Fit over your face. Mask. Very good. I am a large group of uh, children. Class. Excellent. I'm the opposite of first. Lost. Awesome. I'm the opposite of first. Lost. Very good. I am huge. Vast. I am what players do with a ball. Pass. Perfect, all of you. I am the opposite of slow, fast. Very good. I grow on football peaches. I grow on football peaches. So, this is grass. So, grass can grow in the football peach. Grass can grow in the garden. Grass can grow in the park, not only in the football peaches. So again, what do we mean by the word the football peaches? It is the football court. It is a place where you can play football, like the football playground. Or the grass can also grow in a park or in a garden. Very good, all of you. Now let's go to the extra exercise of unit 2. And here he, is, uh, he wants to remind you of the rule of making plural. So, to make plural, we have to add S, and sometimes we add ES, and some other times we add IES or VES. Excellent. So, when do we add ES? So, don't forget to put ES with the words that ends with CH, SH, O, double S, X. So, please, don't forget that we put ES. When do we put ES? We put ES when, for making the plural, when the word, when the noun ends with CH, SH, O, Double S, like the word the class, okay. S or ES, or it can be only one S, like the word the bus. So we have CH, SHO, double S, or only one S, and also the letter X. So please don't forget this. CH, SHO, double S, X. So here we have to copy these words 
and then we need to write each word again adding s or es so it's already done here so we have flask flasks class with double s classes last lasts mast masts glass glasses because it has double s so we put es plast we have plasts with s ask it will be asks with s brass so we will put es because here we have double consonant double s so we put es okay so now let's go to the extra exercise letter b and in the extra exercise letter b he wants you to write a sentence explaining why you think we add es and not just s to words that end in s or double s of course it's quite clear that we add es to make it easy for you to pronounce the word okay so we do this because we want to make it easy to be pronounced fine now let's go to the extension exercise the extension exercise of unit 2 is talking about adding ing and adding ed at the end of the verb so we need to find that to add ing or to add ed to a word that has a short vowel sound plus a consonant so here we have a single vowel sound only one vowel sound plus a consonant we need to make like double consonant so here we have the word run with only one vowel sound which is a short vowel sound and we should follow it by a double consonant okay and then we have the word fast here we have a short vowel sound but it is followed by two consonant letters so we cannot double it so we only double the words that has one vowel sound plus one consonant so a short vowel sound plus one consonant it will give a short vowel sound with double consonant okay but if we have a short vowel sound followed by two consonant we never make the double or if we have double vowel we never make the double letters at the very end okay so the rule is about double the last letter if we have a short vowel sound okay so let's talk about this rule in more details and let's talk about the exceptions for the words that ends with w or x or y okay let's go the present tense or the present continuous when we add ing to the verb what is the spelling rule of adding ing first of all we need to talk about what is called the subject verb agreement so letter i which is the subject takes am so they agree together so we have subject verb agreement he she and it they take as so we have subject verb agreement we you they take are so we have subject verb agreement and for the present continuous or the present progressive we put the ing to the verb but before adding the ing to the verb you have to take care of these spelling rules okay what are the spelling rules of adding the ing we have three different important spelling rules three different important spelling rules so if we have e plus ing so we need to cross or drop the e first and then put the ing so easy rule number two is 
When we have a short vowel sound, we need to make a double consonant first and then put the ing. So short vowel sound, double consonant. But please don't forget that we have exception for this rule for the letter W, letter Y, and letter X. Again, what is the first rule and what is the second rule? Because we have here a pair of words that are going to be pronounced differently because of these rules. The first rule is about the, the letter E at the very end, so we need to cross the E and put ING. And the second one is when we have a short vowel sound, like the short A, E, short O, O, short U, A, plus the double consonant before adding the I and G, so we need to make the double consonant. Fine. And the exception is when we have W or Y or X. What is the bare verb of the following? So we have these two words. How are we going to pronounce each of them? The first one is hoping. It comes from the word from the verb hope. The second one is hopping. Ha 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 hop with the short vowel sound o. Ha 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 hop. So, the first one hope supposed to end with e, so we crossed the e and put the ing. The second one is the word hop, h o p with the short vowel sound o o so we need to make like the double consonant and then ing so short vowel sound double consonant and ing short vowel sound double consonant and ing short vowel sound double consonant and then we put the ing but don't forget that we have exceptions here with W, Y, and X. So, look at these three verbs. We have so, so. Is it so, the post of the verb C? No. This is so, which means to cut the wood. Okay? So, so ends with W, but we are not going to put the double consonant. It will be so plus ing. The second one, verb by plus ing, we are not going to double the y. Fix plus ing, we are not going to double the x. So, take care of these three letters. And then we have, after this, the third rule, which is about IE at the very end. So if we have IE at the end, cross IE and put Y first and then ING. Please don't forget this. So let's have some exercise about this. So we have here some exercises for E, drop the E and put ING. So we have verb like write, drive, live, come, move, dance, Shave. So all of these verbs, we need to cross the E and put the I and G. And then we have another group of words. Here we have the words with the short vowel sound, double consonant. Short vowel sound, double consonant. So if, we, if the word ends, if the word has a short vowel sound plus one consonant, so before adding, the ing we want you to put the the before adding the ing we want you to put the double consonant here before adding the ing so we have swim swimming double m win winning double n plan planning double n set setting double t stop stopping double p cut cutting double t run running double n dig digging double g Shop shopping double P. Okay, so please take care of the words that uh, the, the letters that we do not double, like the letter W, letter X, letter Y. Okay, so we have relax, relaxing, grow, growing, fix, fixing, pay, paying, 
we do not double these verbs the last letter of these verbs we do not double the last letter of these verbs and here we have if the verb ends with i e so please cross the i e and put y first cross the i e and put y first for verbs like die lie and tie so cross the i e and put y okay and this same rule also come when we are going to add the ed at the end of the verb. So let's have a look at the ed at the end of the verb. The past tense, regular verbs with ed. So please take care that when you are going to add ed at the end of the verb, there is a spelling rule that you have to take care of. What is the spelling rule that you have to take care of? Is that if we if we if the verb already end uh, if the verb ends with e, so we add only d. The second rule: it's a short vowel sound plus a consonant. So we have to make double consonant first, and then we add ed. Don't forget the exception with these letters, and then we have. The two words hoped and hopped. Hoped, which is the post of hope, and hopped. Then we have words like fix, it will be fixed. Mix, it will be mixed because letter X is one of the exceptions. The, the third rule is when we have Y, so we have to cross the Y and put I E D I E D okay so don't forget that the sound of the E D differs when you uh, look at the last letter so if the last letter is like P X S F so we pronounce the E D S T okay and this is not the first time to say something like this and I have another video about the past tense the regular one and I want you to go back to it to revise the past tense. So the rules of the verb ends with E, so we add only D. If we have a short vowel sound plus one consonant, so we need to make like double consonant. And then we put the ED. Here we have hope, hoped. Hope already ends with E, so we put only D. Hope, hoped. And here we have the word hop. H -O -P. So we need to make the double consonant first before adding the ED and take care that we have some exceptions like the word fix, fixed, mix, mixed and take care of the pronunciation of the ED at the very end. So dance ends with E so we put D and all the other verbs. If the verb ends with Y, cross the Y and put I E D, so it will be studied I E D, fried, tried, and all the other verbs. Short vowel sound plus a consonant, so we need to make a double consonant before adding the E D, like chop, chopped, double P, sub, subbed, double B. Okay? And of course, don't forget that we have some exceptions with y x and the w so please don't never ever double the last consonant of these verbs like relax play fix so okay fine unit four double consonants the same rule short vowel sound double consonant so I had a little kitten. Last summer, the kitten was as little as my hand. As little as my hand. Okay, but the kitten isn't little any longer. I just don't understand. So here we have the word little little so the word little 
we have a middle double consonant plus le at the very end like the other words that we have taken before when i asked you to unscramble the words like the word nibble gobble bottle so we have middle double consonant plus le at the very end and then we have kitten the baby cat kitten the baby cat kitten was double consonant summer was double consonant summer was double consonant kitten again the baby cat little another word for small kitten little with le at the very end don't forget so the rule is short vowel sound here we have the short vowel sound i le e e little kitten sa a a short u a so we have summer kitten little kitten little short vowel sound double consonant short vowel sound double a double consonant and here we have the vowel letters and please take care that if if the vowel sound of each of these vowel letters is a short one we need to make like double consonant at the very end and here we have a very long list of keywords with double consonants so they are all middle double consonants we have taken before the words with the spelling pattern ass at the end like the word grass and the word class was double consonant at the very end the final double consonant but here we have middle double consonant middle double consonant and let's move again so read the words write what you notice about the sound of the vowel letter before the double letters makes so the vowel letter before the double letters makes short vowel sound short vowel sound so the sound of the vowel letter before the double consonant is a short vowel sound okay so here we have the group of words that we talked about before so here we have the word hope and the word hop so the first one is the one that we talked about before which is hop oh was the short one so all of these words are with the short vowel sound and all of these words are with the long vowel sound so hop hope hop hopping hope hoping here we're supposed to have the magic e so we cross the e and put ing but here we have the short vowel sound o -oh, so we put the double consonant p okay now let's move to the extension exercise and in the extension exercise here we are talking about make a double consonant letter alphabet like this and here we have to make all the alphabet double consonant to find the seven consonant letters that can never be dubbed okay so i think we have discussed this part together in class and we answered everything about it okay now I want you to look at this important part on page 13 the extension exercise on page 13 that we studied together about the words that has the cess part in it okay so in your book on page 13 we have words that are difficult words to spell they are difficult words to spell so these words are so difficult to spell but how can we make them easy to be spelt is to remember that they have a cess pet in them 
assess pet in them okay so don't forget that all of these words have the cess part in them okay so here we have the words and let's talk about these words in more details here we have the letters and sounds and before talking about the cess part we need to talk about what is called the soft C, it's the letter C that is pronounced as C -s when it comes before I like city or E like ice or Y like cycle. So the part says letter C here is pronounced as soft C -s because it is followed by letter E. Says. What is a cess? The cess part is a Latin root word. It is a Latin root word. As you can see here, it's a Latin root word, cess. And this word means to go, yield, stop. So it means to go, to give, to provide, or to stop. So it is a Latin root word cis. So all of these words have inside them the Latin root word cis. So when you remember that they have the Latin root word cis, it make them easy. It makes them easy to be spelled. So the following words are difficult to spell until you remember that they each they all have a cess part in them. What is a cess? The cess is a Latin root word that means to go, to give, to provide, to stop. Let's read the word. Okay, the words that we have here are excessive, unnecessary, recess, concession, procession, access. Successful, abscess, necessary. Okay, so these words again are excessive, which means too much. Unnecessary, which means unimportant. Non-essential. Recess, recess, which is a break. Concession. Concession. What do you mean by the word the concession? The word the concession, it means to grant something, to give something. Okay? Something that is given for free. To let something go. Procession. Comes from the word process, to process. And procession. Procession means to go along with. So... We can have like a parade or something. People are walking together. So it is a procession. Walking together. Moving together. Going along. And then we have the word access. Like when you have an access to the internet. So we access the internet. And then we have successful. 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 But... Take care of the spelling of the word successful because most of you write the word successful with only one C. But please take care that we have suck and then the part of cess and then the full. So it's a suck with one C here and the middle part is cess which means to go and full. Abscess. Abscess. What do you mean by the word abscess? It's uh, like when you have a red swelling skin. Is when you have like a red swelling skin. Necessary. Something that is important. So here we have the meaning of the words excessive, which means too much. Unnecessary. Unimportant. Recess means to have a break. 
Concession means to give, to grant, to let go. Procession means to go along with or to have a parade. And then we have the word access, like to enter, like internet access, to access the internet. And we have the word successful. And the word successful means uh, something that is lucky, remarkable, outstanding. And then we have abscess. What do you mean by abscess? Abscess, it's like uh, red swelling skin, red swelling skin. And we have necessary and unnecessary. So if we are taking these words with the word go, we can find that these words can go like this. The first one, recess, it means to go backward or to have a break, maybe to pause for a while. Successful means to go to your goal. So she's very successful. And uh, successful uh, is like the word lucky or outstanding. We have necessary, something that we cannot go without. I cannot go without something so it is very necessary to me like uh, I cannot go without my mom for example so my mom is someone who is very important very essential in my life and we have unnecessary which means some something or someone I can go without so someone who is unimportant or something that is non-essential like I can uh, money is unnecessary to me so I can go without it's not important it's unimportant okay so process and procession process and procession and the synonym of the word process is the word procession is to have like a parade excess too much excess too much excess too much so here again i want you to put each word in a meaningful sentence so we can have like an excessive feeling of love for excess so we can have excessive feeling of love for the word recess which means a break so recess means a break to have a break or to pause and then we have the word uh pro um procession which is like a parade to go along with and we have the word necessary which means unimportant the word the concession and the concession means to give something to grant or to allow something successful and the word the successful means to be lucky to be fruitful something that is when you are successful you are lucky you are are doing something that is very rewarding or you are going up to your goal you are achieving your goals or your aims so you are a very rewarding person so these words uh, are now easy to be spelt if we know that we have the ses part in it and the ses is as i told you before it is the latin root word that means to go or to give or to stop so you may use a dictionary to help you but now i think that you don't need a dictionary for this part okay so we are still talking about spelling and we are still talking about the spelling rules of adding ed ing and now we're talking about the spelling rule of adding y for forming the adjective and we have discussed this worksheet together before okay so let's come across this worksheet again and uh, let us answer it together as for the first part about the rule of adding y so the first rule is if we have e so what shall we do we have to cross the e and then put y the second rule is when we have again the short vowel sound so we need to make double consonant before adding the y and now let's try these verbs and let's see what shall we do 
Okay, so slime. Let's have these answers here and talk about the verbs. So slime, slimy, flop, floppy, double P, snow, snowy, cheese with E, cross E and put Y, flap, flappy with double P, rain, rainy, fuzz, fuzzy, water, watery, like when you have a watery eye, stone, cross E, stony, dust, dusty, sleep, sleepy, okay? Let's move again. So we have sleep, sleepy, craze, crazy, mad, sag, saggy, with double G, like a saggy skin when someone uh, have a saggy skin out of weight loss. And then we have bead, bead, which is like stone, bead, and BD. Some people have BB, uh, sorry, BDI. And then scare, scary, like a scary movie. Greed, greedy, like the greedy farmer. Skin, skinny, like the skinny body. Star, starry, like the starry night. And don't forget with the word star to put double R before adding the Y, so starry night with double R, snap, snappy, uh, like when you snap your hands or to take like a snapshot, snapshot. And then we have sparkle, so we have E, so cross the E and put Y, sparkly, and then we have uh, the word um, shine and shiny like shiny mirror shiny moon trick tricky like to have a tricky question trick tricky tricky question and then we have the word noise noisy noise noisy noise noisy after this we have wax wax waxy take care that here we do not double the last letter we do not double the last letter because we have the letter x is one of the exceptions so wax waxy don't double and then we have a chat chatty chat chatty okay like chatty girl chatty girls okay and that's everything about adding y at the end of the noun or at the end of the verb to make the adjective at the end of the verb like run runny like so the one who has runny nose okay or at the end of the noun like all the other nouns that we have here like star story and all the other nouns okay so let's move to talk about adding ly at the end of the word to make the adverb Unit 8. Adding L-Y at the end of the word. So, we sometimes add L-Y at the end of the word to form the adverb, like the word quick, quickly. Or we sometimes add L-Y at the end of the word to make the adjective, like the word friend and friendly. Okay, so let's read what we have here. We have the boy and the policeman. The policeman was friendly, but spoke seriously and quietly. Luckily, I wasn't badly hurt. I must ride my bike more carefully and sensibly. So here we have the L-Y ending and we have some rules for adding ly so we need to be aware of the spelling rules 
for adding ly at the end of the word. So first, let's look at the keywords. Okay, so here we have the keywords. We have kindly, slowly, friendly. This is the first group of words. Okay, so we have the word kind, kindly. We have adjective plus ly. And then we have another group of words like week, weekly, month, monthly, actual, actually, usual, usually, final, finally, daily, angrily, merely, gently, simply, basically. And we have comically, dramatically, duly, truly, holy. So they are the words with L-Y. So now, before going any further, let's talk about adding L-Y at the end of the word in more details. Here we have the letters and sounds again. The rule of adding Y, and already we studied the rule of adding Y at the end of the word. And of course, we studied the rules for adding ED and ING at the end of the word. So now let's talk about adding LY at the end of the word. If we are talking about adding LY at the end of the word, so we are talking about unit 8 in the spelling book, your Nelson spelling book. So please open unit 8 in your Nelson spelling book. And you're going to find that we add LY at the end of the word to form either to form the adverb like the word quickly or to form the adjective like the word friendly. What about the spelling rules that we need to know about adding? So we're talking about spelling rules for adding LY. So please be careful because we have some exceptions. So if the word ends with L, are we going to keep the L? Yes, we're going to keep the L. So we will have double LY like the word usual, usually. Okay, usual usually and if we have y at the end of the word we have to cross the y and put i first and then put the l y so we have day daily okay and if the word has l e at the very end please take care that we need to cross the l e and put y at the very end so, and put L-Y at the very end, like the word the gentle with L-E. It will be gently. Cross the L-E and put L-Y. Simple with L-E at the very end. Cross the L-E and put L-Y simply. Okay. And if we have a word with E, we cross the E. So, if we have only E without L, so cross the E and put L-Y, like the word du, duly. Okay, and then we have the last one, the last rule that we have here about the IC at the very end. So if we have a word that ends with ek part, ek part, so if we need to add LY, we need to make it like ek plus ALLY. So we need to make it like ek plus a l l y. So we keep the last part. We keep the last part, which is ek, and then we add, and then we add a l l y. Okay. So we need to add a l l y. So here we have the words, we have basic with ek part at the end, and we need to put ly, so it will be basically. And here we have the word comic with ek 
at the end and we need to put L-Y, it will be comically. Dramatic, dramatically. So if we have ek at the end, it means that we need to put A-L-L-Y. So please take care of these four rules for adding L-Y at the end of the word. That's the end of what we have covered during term two year four. So please study hard and good luck for all of you. Thank you very much and goodbye.